Hello everyone, GM, GM. Welcome to the Solana Changelog. I'm Nick from the Solana Foundation DevRel team, and today I've got Jonas with me from the DevRel team. How are you doing, Jonas? Hello, I'm doing great. How are you? I'm doing super. <laughs> super good. Yeah, super good. Uh, let's go ahead and dive into the changelog. We got some uh, some interesting stuff this week. Uh, first thing I want to talk about is this SIMD, SIMD 7.5, got merged in. Um, this kind of relates to the pre-compiles one we talked about last week. But specifically, if you notice here, this is the SEC P256 R1 curve. And if you think back to the change log last week, I kind of mentioned this. This is the curve that is used by FIDO passkeys. So things like YubiKeys and, and those like hardware devices. Uh, this curve, once this, now that the SIMD has been approved, we'll be able to have eventually native uh, curve support within the Solana runtime for this. So that's pretty awesome. Yeah, that's super cool. Very exciting. And this is like a very, very old one, actually. Like I found it kind of confusing, but now it has finally been merged, right? And stuff also gets more complicated now, right? That we have Anza and Fire Dancer, and they both need to agree if we do stuff now. So adding a new curve is still like a big deal, right? Yeah, they definitely needed the the approval from both of the the core engineering teams on for both of those clients. But also, I think they were waiting on the uh, the interface design that the last pre-compile SIMD kind of proposed and, and actually got merged in. Yeah, super cool. And do you, did you see any other nice commits? Yeah, there were some. Uh, there was not a whole lot of interesting commits this week. I will shout out this one because like documentation, which I love. Uh, <laughs> this is from Cries of Kiertz, uh, Tierra from the Anza core engineering team. And it's updating the documentation for the new Epoch rewards this far. So all of the amazing work that that she has been doing and, and the other engineers have been doing for the Epoch rewards, uh, it's clarified in the documentation how the new stuff works. So give it a read. Yeah. And if you're wondering why there are not so many commits, like let's look at the release schedule. So oh, yeah. Yeah. Now we need to sync always with Fire Dancer. And there is some plans apparently to feature freeze basically before breakpoint. And then after breakpoint, version 2.0 will be released. Yep. Yep. This is the official version 2.0 release schedule. A lot of the deprecation things that we've talked about um, recently, those are going to start going away once 2.0 hits mainnet and you know all the respective clusters. So people have been asking for the date. So here's the official date from Anza. Yeah. And again, if you had left some problems with the 2.0 updates, I think there were some problems in the JavaScript SDKs. Ping us. Because I think they should be all fixed now. Right? Yeah. Yeah. All right. And then, yeah, as you know, we had the game jam recently and some cool things that came out of it is um, tooling improvements. So oh, yeah. we have the Godot SDK, which is super cool now. The maintainer Tomukas1 made a really nice video series about it, 10 videos where you can just go through and learn how to build a game in Godot. And then there's also something which is actually cool, not only for games, um, because Danny built actually um, IDL to C++ converter. So you can just take the JSON Whoa. IDL and you get a complete C++ client, which works with That's Unreal cool. 5.x. And yeah, I, I saw his presentation at the London Hacker House and it was really cool because he had like a character which looked amazing, Unreal rendering. And he was aiming to moving left and right using the tiny adventure program that's already deployed. <laughs> so I think that was really, really cool stuff. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, I I was actually on a personal note. I was diving into the, into watching a bunch of uh, dev content for Godot. Very Gosh. approachable, very simple. Looks kind of like a Pythony type scripting language, and you can build full games. So maybe maybe I'll tinker more. Yeah, there were a bunch of cool games actually for the game jam built with Godot, and they have lots of stuff coming. Like they want to import, uh, include Honeycomb, compressed NFTs, the um, Soar Magic Block program, Metaplex auctions, and so on. So yeah, if you're that. a Godot developer, try it out. It's really, really good. Yeah, let's go. All right, let's go shift over to the last but not least, Stack Exchange. Shout out to all the amazing people on Stack Exchange, helping out everyone, answering questions. We've got Ari, Jimmy, Serban, got John Chinkway, of course, White Seal. Great work, everybody, on Stack Exchange. Yeah, and many new people as well. And Ari is just such a beast. It's amazing. Really good Full to beast. see. Full beast. Yeah. All right, that's going to wrap it up for this change log, and we'll catch you in the next one. See you next week. Bye-bye.